It's time now for Help Wanted Wednesday, a weekly segment aimed at helping folks who've lost their jobs during the pandemic. Whitney Trailer is a professor at Metro State University in Denver. He's also our Nine News legal expert specializing in employment issues. Hey, Whitney, good morning. Hey, good morning, Natasha. Happy hump day, everyone. <laughs> so this week, fraud is once again one of the primary issues facing the Department of Labor, but they are taking steps to stop it and also provide support for those folks who may have had a fraudulent claim filed in their name. What should viewers know? That's correct, Natasha. As we've been saying over and over, they're seeing uh, a ton of fraudulent claims, the CDLE, and they estimate that it's been 1.2 million since the pandemic. And just to put that in context, normally every year the CDLE sees about 100 fraudulent claims a year. So this is a lot. So if a fraudulent claim is filed in the name of the employee, both the employee and employer can quickly and easily submit a fraud claim through the department's website. The department will then send out letters to both the employee and the employer saying, hey, someone, you know, we're investigating this fraud. Now, folks, this is real important that you maintain that letter because if there was a fraudulent claim filed, you'll want that letter for purposes of uh, disproving any um, um, identity theft or things of that nature in the future. Uh, Whitney, any new job opportunities to share with us this week? Yes, the labor market is shifting now. We're starting to see employers having trouble finding quality uh, employees. And so this week I wanted to focus again on the state of Colorado. I just went on their website and they have a ton of jobs. The benefits are really good. Uh, you just go to governmentjobs.com. They're uh, positions throughout the state. So, for example, they have a temporary cook. It's nearly $3,000 a month, an administrative assistant. Some of those paid over $5,000 a month. So they also have training and educational opportunities on the website as well. So uh, check out governmentjobs.com and let's get everybody back to work. Yeah, let's get them back to work. Thanks so much, Whitney. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks for having me.